Hey everybody, this is Cyrus for bestsuperfeeders.com. Today I'm gonna, we are gonna start a new series on Kindle Fire Tips. Now, a lot of people who follow our blog are already experienced, they know how to root their Kindle, do all kinds of cool things on it. But then again, there are a lot of people who are buying their tablet for the first time, so we want to do something to help those folks get started with their tablets and sort of understand what their tablet is capable of. At the same time, we know there are a lot of guides available online that you can download. We just wanted to show you on video. Maybe some people will have an easier time following it. So the, this first part is gonna be about different settings that you can set up, that you can change on your Kindle Fire to make it work the way you want. And um, the first two are pretty exp easy to change the volume or brightness. We're not going to cover that, so we're going to cover the wireless section here today. The wireless section is where you need to start to connect your Kindle Fire to the internet. Now here's how it works. The first, the first part is the AirPlay mode. This is where you can do a lot of cool things. First of all, if, if you have a problem connecting to the internet, you turn it on and turn it back off and let the system refresh per se. Now if I turn this on, my wireless goes away. Turn it off, it comes back on. I can connect to a network, I can add a new network, and I can forget networks by just holding my finger on it and forget it. The advanced settings is where you, uh, you apply your static IP and proxy settings. This is for advanced users, most people are not going to deal with it, but if you're going through a proxy or if you have a static IP that you're dealing with, this is where you access it. I do not want to connect this device to a Bluetooth, but if I wanted to, I can. And then I don't have a I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard around or a Bluetooth add-on anything. What I did there was I just made it visible to all other Bluetooth devices. But since I don't really have a Bluetooth device. I do have one, but it's turned off, so that's why I can't recognize it here. But you get the idea. I, I turned it off because I don't really need it. If you need to deal with a Bluetooth device, that's where you go and turn it on. Adding network, easy to do. Just enter the name, security, just choose the WEP, WPA, personal, and enterprise and just enter your information and go from there. And there's an advanced option that lets you choose the DHCP and the static IP information. Now, a couple of things that sh comes up when dealing with wireless you know, what if you can't connect to a public network? It could be that there's a Mac filtering, so you need to make sure that your IP your, is added to the router. And basically, in public networks, they usually provide you with a, with, a, with a sheet of paper or a file or something that has the information that you need to enter to connect to your network there. If, if you're having a problem connecting to your own wireless network and that you've done it before, I recommend turning the AirPlay mode on and off just quick. Let it disconnect and let try back to see if that works. If you're receiving a password error, there's a good chance that your password, maybe you're not paying attention to the, the case. It's case sensitive, so you want to be aware of that. If, if all fails, you want to restart your Kindle Fire, maybe that will help. Sometimes it, sometimes that could fix the issues. So that's about it. There is really not much more to say about the wireless. Just want to make sure that you have a router, a decent router, and Choose WPA and 
make sure you enter the same the, the exact number of digits for your password the number of characters in your password and make sure you do it correctly and you should be able to add it and once you're done and you want to forget it you want to forget the network that you just connected to just forget and that's all it takes I hope you enjoyed this tip please for more information come to bestebookreaders.com I'll be back with another series another video on the next options set of options for Kindle Fire thank you very much for watching guys